Oh, hey, it's another day. It's a Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, right? Yes, can confirm. It is Wednesday. It's Wednesday. You're here in the Juggalo Dungeon with me, Shovel. Time for another day of painting and hanging out, chilling, whatever, whatever we end up doing in these streams. So whoop whoop, y'all. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our beverage of the day. It's going to be another Fago Cotton Candy because, uh, like I said before, I bought I bought a lot of these. Way too many, probably. And by the time I'm done drinking them, I will probably not be such a fan anymore. But then again, I probably still will be. So whoop whoop, y'all. Here we go. That blue color surprises me every time. I don't know why. I should be used to it at this point. It's just so vibrant. And then there's the smell. Into my face with the cotton candy. Cheers. To all the juggalos and juggalettes and uh, everybody else. Cheers. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Made a slight camera adjustment today. It's a little bit higher, so if I'm not looking you in the eyes, it used to be I would not look you in the eyes because I was looking too low, or actually too high. Now it'll be the opposite problem. I'll be looking too low, but up there, it's out of my way when I'm trying to see the chat, and it's kind of a better angle all the way around. The focus is much better. It handles the light much better up there. So we're going to try it up there, and hopefully it sticks, because I kind of like it. And the other way, I was using a Fago can as a, as a camera stand, and I'm um, kind of sick of doing that. So I can toss that off the desk now, too. Anyway, what are we doing today? That's the big question, because today is new project day. We're starting something new. Let me switch you over to the desk. Let me show you where my head is right now. I have done one other Garbage Pail Kid piece before, and I've been trying to think... What's up, JR? I've been trying to think about how to uh, how to make another one work, and it dawned on me yesterday. Uh, did you miss... Uh, yeah, I already opened the Fago. It's cotton candy today. Um, oh, and then I spilled my paint. Cool. So you didn't miss anything, JR. Not at all. All right, so we are going to flip to number 270. There he is, Cannibal Stew. Good old Cannibal Stew. Does everybody remember this guy? Let me bring him up and we'll focus. Oh, manual focus, wrong way. Found it, nailed it. Cannibal Stew. Look at that guy. Now put that in your mind's eye. Remember that cannibal stew. And put the book away. And I just so happen to have a primo, perfect, perfect, precious moment to become a cannibal stew. Are you ready? Here she comes. Here she comes. Oof. How about that? Huh? The side by side? Uh, yeah. That's, that's too easy, right? That's too easy. I know. It, it's like a match made in heaven. It's like the people over at Precious Moments, because this one was made in, uh, 1993. I think Cannibal Stew is from 1987. So, it's, it's just, it's a no-brainer. So that's what we're going to do. This is the new project, turning this precious moment into this garbage pail kid. Bada bing. Um, last night, off camera, I also worked on this piece. Um, I've decided she she looks like a chubby Taylor Swift cherub, if that's a thing. Apparently it is because I'm holding it in my hand. Um, and I only say chubby because her cheeks are just really big. Maybe she's just eating a lot of pe like uh, peanuts or something. I don't know. 
Um, but yeah, so working on that off camera, I'll probably finish this up tonight. So there's going to be another cherub on the block here shortly. But today, the stream will be dedicated to making this into a garbage pail kit. Let me work on my focus. There we go. And then I want to move my camera because I don't like that it's crooked. There we go. And I'm going to put this card somewhere safe because it's my only one. I need to get another one now that I'm going to be... Whenever I do uh, repaint things into Garbage Pail Kids, if I sell it, the vintage card that inspired it goes with it. So that Cannibal Stew out of my personal collection will be sold with this thing. Daffy, what's up, man? Also, I got some other things in the, the mail today. Out of order, but uh, these are going to be the push pins that I'll be using for the uh, the map of the United States of America that I'll have behind my back over my shoulder here, where I'll uh, put pins in all the different places that uh, have s bought one of my pieces, because uh, I think that'll be fun to see in the background. So there's that off to the side on the desk. <sighs> so let's get to it, y'all. Hmm. Whoop whoop, everybody. Even though it's not so much of a uh, an ICP kind of day, not so much a Juggalo day, but it's okay. Every day can be a Juggalo day. You don't have to wear your face paint to make it so. So, I don't think I need to break any of the gold coins out to uh, necessarily make this look like a boiling pot of water that this little girl's in. Um, I think I should be able to uh, incorporate that into the conversion, uh, which is good, because I was kind of kind of worried about that, trying to break those out of there. Um, also, I don't think I'll have to break the bow off the top of her head. I think I can just sculpt the chef's hat, because he is wearing a chef's hat, right on top. The only thing that does have me a little, like, eh, is the hair is definitely longer, curlier, um, girlier than Cannibal Stew. But we'll paint it up and we'll see how it looks. Um, you know, if it's not a problem, then it's not a problem. If it is, then I'll just uh, dremel it down. No big deal. So that's where we're at. So first, what we're going to do low-hanging fruit we're gonna paint the cauldron black because that's just real easy that'll be the fastest uh uh return on investment there because it'll that'll make it look completely different immediately um i do also plan to sculpt because there is a fire under the cauldron in the card i plan to sculpt some uh some you know branches and twigs and whatnot and uh then create some fire out of some cotton that i'll end up painting and gluing all the crazy effect work that I haven't really done on this channel before I've done in my life uh but it's been a long time so hopefully I uh hopefully I can pull it off that or you all will watch me fail miserably and smash it on the ground which is also fine all right Painting the cauldron black. How about that? Easy peasy. Oh, there is also another thing on the cauldron on the uh, source material. Um, it's uh, it's got handles. Um, like I don't know, cauldrons. <laughs> so I'll probably sculpt some uh, some handles on here as well. Just to make it more look more like a cauldron instead of a large pot of gold. Um, it's little things like that that I think will kind of bring it all together. I didn't take a before picture. That just that just dawned on me. Whoopsie daisies. Maybe I'll just use a uh, a standard picture of this piece. Because they are on the internet for sure. They only made a couple million of these. No big whoop. And that's why when people say, "Hey, aren't those worth money or whatever? Why? Why would you? Uh, why would you ruin it? 
Um, because there's like tens of thousands of more of this and last oh yeah I could take a screenshot that's true too Daffy for the win Daffy coming through clutch with the ideas man this is going to take a lot more paint than I put put out um so let me get some more there we go all right wednesday indeed wednesday indeed who else was spent spent their time sitting in a desk doing government paperwork today i know i did that's why doing stuff like this is so refreshing infinitely more entertaining unless unless you guys want to sit in on that uh i will be working from home tomorrow i could live stream as i uh sit at my desk and uh type on my laptop that could be exciting for everyone i could lie and say i'm gaming and just put some uh some canned footage of uh Call of Duty or something in the split screen <laughs> and just fake it. But then somebody would probably see that at work and I'd probably get fired. So don't do that. Bad idea. So yeah, like I said, painting this cauldron right off the bat instantly changes the entire look of this piece. Instant gratification. One thing that might be a little awkward, um, Stu is topless in the pot of boiling water. Uh, meanwhile, this little girl is wearing pretty standard clothing of a precious moment. She's wearing like a granny pajamas i don't know why they always do but that's what she's wearing because that makes sense for a little girl to be sitting in a pot of gold wearing granny pajamas Alright, I think we're getting to the point where it's time to stop painting with a big brush and it's time to start painting with a small brush. Get a little more detail. See, we've got some, uh, some new numbers. Creeping and listening right now. Welcome to all the noobs or the quiet creepers that have been here before. My name is Shovel. If I didn't introduce myself before, I am the I'm the guy behind Precious Juggalos. This here is my Juggalo dungeon. I went with green today, Jr. I know you don't like green. You you prefer the purple. But uh, ooh, nice. Koi fish are awesome. Um, I went with green today because I felt like it. So there's that. Felt like trying something new. Tried a different angle with the camera. Trying a different color in the background. Moving my phone. All right. Smaller brush right there and more black, always more black. After I paint the pot, I might actually stop and take a picture. 
if you all could be patient with me for a moment while I grab some pictures for the socials. Because you gotta keep the socials going. If you are new here, don't be afraid to jump in the chat. I've got two of my moderators here right now. Possibly three if Maya's here as well. And just uh, busy with the koi fish. But uh, my moderators are pretty good people. They don't bite unless they have to. And we have been known to chat about all kinds of topics in these streams. Otherwise, there will be awkward pauses. Oh man, I mentioned I mentioned joining the chat and the numbers fall. <laughs> I, yeah, I figured as much. Maya is around. If you do follow any of my socials, you may have seen a picture today of the studio wall. This would be the wall here. Hey, Maya! Obviously, it looks a little different when the uh, studio lights are on. And the dungeon lights are off. That is definitely the wall. And it really is just a collection of things that I've picked up throughout my life that I thought were cool or people that have inspired me in different ways you end up on my wall. Alright, there we go. That is a black cauldron. Hmm. Gotta be careful. Banging this thing around. The black is not... Not very strong when it's first applied. But it does get strong as it dries. Okay, let me set this on here, a little cushioning, and take a couple pictures real quick. There we go. All right, phone out. Grab this, maybe that. One second, we'll get there. There we go. All right. So if you're just joining in, we are repainting 
this precious moment into this garbage pail kid is the plan. And so far, all you've missed is I've painted the cauldron black. So, now i got to start thinking about next steps, because the cauldron was the easiest part, honestly. First, a sip of uh, Cotton Candy Fago. Alright. Next, let me actually get that back. So, he's got a shoe floating in there. I don't know if I can sculpt that out of one of the coins or not. Hmm. A salt shaker. <coughs> and he's holding a spoon. All the things. Hmm. Well, first, let me get clay out here. If you're curious, I use Sculpey. Uh, Sculpey 3, apparently. This stuff is... Oh, the camera's over here. Yeah, so I use this stuff. Why am I holding it upside down? I don't know. I always, I always think, uh, I think I have to hold it the other way. Yeah, so some Sculpey. Real easy to use. Just put it right on the figure and then pop it in the oven at 275 for 15 minutes per every quarter inch of thickness. Real easy to work with. Easy peasy. Now I'm not a very good sculptor, so don't don't judge me too harshly. Definitely not a professional at this. But it's fun to learn stuff. We'll say that. <laughs> You've always been a pretty big meanie there, JR. I don't think that's long enough. Yeah, that's not. It's definitely tall enough, so why don't we... I'm going to divide that in half. This number here. I probably, you know what? Thinking about this, I probably ought to uh, be smarter and use actual tools, which I do have some. I'm trying to think of where I put them. Sculpting tools. Um, I don't remember where I put them. I hardly ever use them. Alright, I made it look like I knew exactly what I was doing right there. I definitely don't. Okay, so... We're gonna wrap that around that bow. Except I need it to be... So you can see what I'm doing here. I should be smarter and I should do it where that will be on the back side. Yes! Yes. That's smarter. Works smarter, not harder. I'm gonna blend that in. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. I'm talking about. Okay. Bada bing. So there is the bottom portion of the chef's hat. So now we just got to do the uh, floppy, toppy thing. Which, I don't know how I'm going to accomplish that. Kind of do a, uh, a dome, I guess, and then kind of crush it. Maybe. So in other words, basically a big round piece. And then kind of pull it in on itself. Like that. I don't think there's enough clay here. I don't think I planned this out very well. I'm also probably sculpting this too thin, now that I think about it. Hmm. Yeah, let me... let me add some more here. Okay. Don't mind those noises. I didn't just herniate anything, I'm fine. Just old. Okay. I think if we go too big, it'll be easier to remove once this is on than it would be to add. I think, right? That makes sense in my brain. Wait. Oh my. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Um, want it, need it. Okay, let's take that off. And then let's... Okay. Oh, that got too thin in the middle. Okay. Let's just, let's start it off as a cube. Yeah. Start it out as a cube, and then we'll roll it into a basic circle, I think. Hey, certain shade of green back. Good to see you, my friend. How's how's it going for you? It's going pretty good for me. Nice to see a familiar name in the chat. It's funny that you showed up today because I have a certain shade of green in my background. It's usually purple. Well, this is turning into a square, so that's not that's not ideal. And there appear to be bubbles in it. That's not ideal either. So, certain shade. Uh, I am making a, a garbage pail kid out of a precious moments kid is the plan. We're going to make cannibal stew is the plan out of you are the end of my rainbow. Yeah, so 270A, Cannibal Stew. That is the plan, Stan. If I can figure out how to sculpt with clay. Never made a chef's hat before. I don't know if you could tell from my uh, frantic movements on my desktop right now. Oh, cool. I completely, uh, yeah, stuck it to my desk. That's cool. <laughs> Stick with me, folks. <laughs> uh, huh. Like 
clean that off real quick, because I'm guessing if I don't, the clay will continue to bond with the clay. And that will make the whole process difficult. I don't want that. I also think I'm pressing it down too hard on the, the work, work top. Might be the problem. Forgot that my alcohol wipes strip old paint off the desktop, too. Yeah, so there might be some uh, copper and gold getting into my my chef's hat. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Wiggles is here, too. The gang is all here, plus some. So, yeah, I should say, I talked before about if you're... If you're in the stream, feel free to join the chat. You don't have to. I kind of talk about this all the time, how I, I just want this channel to kind of be like Bob Ross used to be for me as a kid watching PBS where, you know, I would just turn it on PBS and he would be painting and talking about his day and uh, I would just be able to relax and not worry about things. A uh, certain shade of green, I am using Sculpey is what it's ca called. It sounds it sounds like I'm mispronouncing it, but that is the correct pronunciation. Sculpey. It's uh it's really easy to work with and when you have it the way you want it, all you do is you pop it in the oven and you bake it for a little bit. No, not air dry. I I actually I prefer this this stuff, uh the oven bake stuff cuz it uh it doesn't shrink, it doesn't crack, and uh, after it bakes, it's really tough. The air dry stuff, you know, it's it's nice that it's easy to use, but that stuff is, as it dries, it loses moisture, obviously, and that can lead to cracking. Um, it's also, it's just not as durable as this stuff. In my experience, okay. I gotta, I gotta concentrate. I gotta think about how this works. Kind of pinch it in. My goodness, y'all! <laughs> I may have done it. Are you kidding me? No way. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I need to blend it together a little bit, but holy crap. Um, that's, that's, I've never, I've never done anything like that before. That's wild. Yeah, so, um, I mean, you can see where the joint isn't great. But, uh, but yeah, I think, uh, getting some tools in there, some, some of the rubber tip tools in there and, molding it together. I think this is going to come out all right. All right. I like it. Oh yeah, certain shade. Uh that's Wiggles. Uh Dreadlock Dreadlock Juggalo. I almost said Dreadnought again. Um that's Wiggles. That's Casual Aquatics. Uh okay. What am I doing? Rubber tools. They're here somewhere. Swear that they are. Um. Oh, you know what? I bet you my daughter has them. I bet you my daughter has them in her room. Because she likes to sculpt. Yep. She definitely does. That's cool. Meanwhile, I found a sticker in my desk of a friend of mine's band. Uh, if you're into metal bands that are themed around zombies, uh, Full Metal Z. Check them out. Uh, they kind of sound like, uh, kind of have a sound like uh, Iron Maiden, um, with a little bit of a uh, little Metallica, um, but all their songs are about surviving a zombie apocalypse, and they perform in full zombie makeup. And, uh, it's pretty awesome. So, 
Let me add that to the back wall since I just found it in my desk. There we go. I have to take a picture of this and send it to my buddy. Um, here, let me... No, I'll just leave it. No, I'll do this so you don't have to look at my, my butt. Alright. The sticker is stuck. Full Metal Z, yeah, that's the name of the band. Um, whoop, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, you, a uh, certain shade, he posted a video of that, uh, well, part of the boat ride, not the whole, I, about half of it before you turned around, right, Wiggles? It was, it really looked nice. Like, uh, the Ohio River is pretty, and, um, everything that's built up against the river is a lot prettier than things are around here in Kansas City. We have, we have a, couple of rivers here but there ain't nothing pretty next to our rivers it's it's all pretty gnarly wiggles get uh get the link to that video and pop it in there everybody watch uh watch watch wiggles's video It was a really neat... He rode a uh, um, riverboat with the big uh, like paddle boat. Um, it was... It really looked nice out there. People he was on the boat with seemed like they weren't tool bags at all. Um, there weren't a bunch of kids running around screaming, which is nice. Nothing, nothing against people with small children. I've had small children. Yeah, there you go. Click on that link. Check out that, that video. Because it, it really, it just, it looked really nice. And he, we were watching his live stream and it was nice to like, just be vicarious with him on the river. Uh, it was, it looked, it looked very, very, uh, I mean, saying romantic as I'm watching another dude stream a video can sound a little awkward, but I could definitely see uh, going on that boat with my lady friend. No worries, Wiggles. It was a good one. Well, I don't have my rubber tip nice tools, but my wooden tip on my paintbrush kind of is working. I might have to do some of this work off camera. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Yeah, JR and I were, uh, we were there for a whole lot of the stream and you'll see my comments are all about the uh the boat itself because i was just curious if it was uh yeah we did have to well not we uh jr was johnny on the spot with bouncing a guy out of there i was too busy yammering on about is it diesel or is it steam powered because that's interesting to me Okay, how am I going to fill this little gap in here? Can I just jam this in? Oh, hey oh, That's what she said. <laughs> uh, I wondered if we were going to have one today. That is a pretty good one. Pretty cut and dry. Can we jam this in? Okay, that's not a perfect look, but it's better. At least gets rid of the uh, the gaping hole that was in the hat. If I could just 
Sculpt that there. Sculpt that closed right there. Perfect. More painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except right now it's more sculpting. Whoa. Total, total change of pace for this channel. The title isn't live sculpting and chill. But I can't really paint this thing without the, uh, without the hat being done. Oh, you got it, Wiggles. Okay. Let me show you what I'm looking at, and you can provide me some input. Everyone feel free to jump in on this question. Do you see the junction there between the uh, base of the hat and the top of the hat? And there's kind of some gaps. Do you think I should put little bits of clay in there to kind of close up those gaps like I did on the front there? Or do you think it's okay how it is? It kind of gives it more depth. Oh, because of the sculpting thing? My bad, man. People are asking for, pr for uh, not precious juggalos. Well, they're asking for those too. Asking for a lot of cherubs. My goodness, you people, and you are totally enamored with my cherubs. I don't have any... The, the good ones are upstairs right now. I gotta pack one up, actually. Um, yeah, so I gotta paint all the cherubs. But, people are asking for more garbage pail kids, too. So, I gotta supply the demand. Um, but yeah, do you guys think that looks okay back there? It's on the back side for one. Oh. This thing's got a rattle in it. Huh. That's a little... scary. Okay, I, I kind of felt like that too. The only thing is, I don't... Uh, it's pretty well, well attached. Okay, okay. Everybody... Okay. Man, that, do you hear that? Is that loud enough for you to hear? Maybe I shouldn't do it towards my mouth. Okay. Then let me just get a little... Yeah, there's my little bit. Let me just stick. You can hear it. It's not super loud. It's definitely a very small piece of, I assume, ceramic in there. Or porcelain, rather. Um, let me stick that in there. Fill that gap. Jeez. <laughs> this is really coming together too easy. Just FYI. Do this stuff. It's not as hard as you think it is. Because I'm I'm not this guy. I, I swear I'm not. And it just... It falls together. That's crazy. Never be afraid to... Uh, try doing art. You definitely don't need a fancy degree. Because I sure don't have one. In fact, I'm a college dropout. Uh, three times. Three times. Um, and I was kicked out of art class in high school, so, um, so yeah. If I can do it, definitely you can do it too. Strongly encourage you to try. If you want, if you don't care to, strongly encourage you to buy. <laughs> I did have some of the myriad of packages that uh, I've sent out recently from uh, people that have made purchases. Uh, some of them started arriving today, and uh, they've been arriving to uh, critical acclaim. So it feels nice to get all this attention all of a sudden. It feels even better to have people getting their pieces and being actually surprised at that they were better than they expected. So that's that's awesome. Uh-oh. 
Meanwhile, my hat's detaching on this side. Maybe I do need to form it down a little bit. There we go. Not too much, though. It's not really the physics of a hat on your head. Oh, see, like that. That doesn't make sense because it's going to be a rigid line. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. It's still doing art, though. You got to give me that, right? And you've decided to take that leap of faith, too, in your art. So I'm still right, JR. Sucker. Um, let's see. I'm going to stick that in there. Actually, let me put this, like, that, maybe? Oh, there we go. Let's see if I can't push that in. Well, that's the way to do it. I just learned a thing. Yeah, all right. Learning. Nice. <laughs> Cheers, JR. I really can't wait to uh, hear the finished product. I gotta get some ripples out of here now. It was smooth, and now I got a bunch of <clears throat> a bunch of ripples in my clay. I need it, I need it smooth again. That's where the rubber tools would come in handy. Oh, uh, there's a bit of a gap right there. So, oh, it's five eighteen already. That's crazy. It's been a fast hour. Ultimately, when I look at what I've done, this doesn't look like an hour's worth of work. But you've all, you've been here, you've been seeing it happen, so you do know this took me an hour. Wow, yeah, that black paint, or is it? It's the clay on my fingers. Dang it. I'm smudging up my black paint and it looks it looks wretched. So don't look at that. Don't look real close. I'll be I'll be painting it again. We'll get it nice and black. As I burp cotton candy. Uh ooh. That line doesn't match up. Oh, let me put a little clay. Need it to be full. right there. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's funny how time time slips away when you're having fun, for sure. And it has been nice. I've been uh, I've been trying to clock some more hours here down in the studio. Not so much streaming. Still just gonna do that an hour a day, but. I've been uh, I've been doing more hours of uh, painting and stuff. Just trying to get all these uh, projects done as fast as I can for the waiting public. I actually started looking at uh, possible Hello Kitty ideas because of Laney's suggestion yesterday. Suggestion. Uh, so Laney, if you're hearing this. I'm definitely working on it, because I still think it's definitely an excellent idea. I can't wait. Can't wait to do my first Hello Kitty precious moment. 
And if anybody else is in the stream right now hearing that, if you steal that idea, so help me, I'm going to send Laney. And Laney is going to leave peanut butter and jelly sandwiches under every single couch cushion that you have. And you're not going to know it. She's not going to say it. And they're just going to stay there and rot. And you're going to wonder what that smell in your house is after a while. And your friends are going to be polite and they're not going to say anything. But you'll become known as the smelly people. And it's because you stole an idea. So don't do it. At least let me uh, finish one first and then you can steal the idea. Okay, chef's hat complete. That's insane. I really didn't think I'd be able to, to do that. That's, that's pretty sweet. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And here I was super nervous about it. I didn't think I'd be able to, to get this done today. Or get it, like, in a functional... I don't know. Space. Today. Am I using a miniature screwdriver right now? Yes, I am. I think it's technically a jeweler's screwdriver. But I'm going to stop doing it because it's leaving a lot of marks. After the stream, I'll just have to go get the proper tools from my daughter and do this properly. But anyway, this is, whoa, here, I'll just hold her up. We'll do this again. And we'll get closer and we'll focus. Look at that. This is today's progress on this new project. Cannibal stew made out of you are the end of my rainbow. Adorable. So you can see it on the, the card there, like I was saying, there's a handle. Whoop. Here, I'll put it right there. There's that little handle on the front there. So I plan on sculpting that in, adding that to the pot, making it look, uh... Oh, Wiggles, I didn't even see that. I mean, to be fair, I've, I've seen ICP Hello Kitties. Um... There's, there's been Hello Kitties themed for everything. I've seen Kiss Hello Kitties. Um, but I've never seen a precious moment turned into a Hello Kitty. Like, we can look at this one. So this little bow in her hair is very similar to a Hello Kitty bow. Um, so... Ideally, I'm going to try to look for somebody that's got a little less Farrah Fawcett hair here. Add some kitty ears. Uh, and then it'll be basic whiskers and trying to round out the face as much as I can to make it look like Hello Kitty. Then, after, after the face is all good, you know, if I want to uh, give it a Violent J face paint Hello Kitty precious moment mashup, 100% could do that. Um, but yeah, I just, to me, like, I want a proof of concept before I go nuts. So I just want to, uh, I want to, I want to turn one of these heads into a Hello Kitty head, basically. Um, and then, like I said, we can build off it from there. Because, yeah, like I said, I, Laney's idea inspired. Chef's kiss. Great idea. But that's not what we're, what we're working on today, and that's not what we'll be working on tomorrow. Today, we're working on Cannibal Stew, and we'll be continuing on with Cannibal Stew tomorrow. I still, I can't believe that chef's hat. So basically, what's going to happen after I cut the stream today is I'm going to bake this so that the, the chef's hat will be done. Because I think... Well, I might do a little bit more uh, 
sculpting with the with the rubber tip tools just to make it look more natural and clean. But uh, but yeah, otherwise I, I think it's a pretty except for that lump right there. It's a pretty functional representation of a chef's hat, in my opinion. Yeah. Um. So yeah. But this is going to be the end of today's stream. We're going to leave it there. Uh, so special shout outs to Daffy and uh, JR and Maya and Wiggles and Certain Shade of Green um, for joining in the chat today. Uh, shout out to all the creeps and listeners that have been in and out today uh, checking me out because uh, I did post it on Facebook. So we did have some uh, some newbies in today. Appreciate y'all for uh, for checking it out. If you did enjoy what you're seeing right now or what you saw in the last hour, be sure and give me a thumbs up on this stream. Um, be sure that uh, you su subscribe to my YouTube as well. That would be very helpful. Um, I'm I'm trying to get me up to that 500 subscriber mark. I think I'm at four. 50 or 449 somewhere around there right now so we're getting we're getting there we're closing in uh i could definitely use y'all's help help though with that if you could like and subscribe i would greatly appreciate it otherwise uh check out that link just dropped in the chat there for the my the my the link in the chat is for my shop <laughs> if you like what you see here uh, you won't actually find anything like this in the shop right now. The only garbage pail kit I had in there already is spoken for uh, by a, a nice young lady in Canada. Um, but I do have a lot of Juggalo things in the shop that I think some of you have already seen. But uh, if you dig it, go buy it for sure. Otherwise, uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Um, all those different spots. I am pretty well active. I'm also on Reddit a little bit. Sometimes I post some of my creations there. I don't really like chat a lot on Reddit. Um, cause it's kind of a dumpster fire anytime you try to talk on there. Um, but, but yeah, I'm around just, uh, just search precious juggalos. I'm everywhere. Um, also if you are so inclined uh, there is a Discord server uh, specifically for Juggalos or people that are uh, Juggalo curious or Juggalo adjacent. Um, if uh, somebody wants to drop that link in the chat, click on that. It'll take you to a Discord server um, filled with, uh, with Juggalos and others. Um, if you're just looking for a place to hang out, uh, hang your hat and chat with some people, check out that server. Uh, lots of good folks and lots of good conversations about lots of different topics. If, uh, if that link shows up, maybe <laughs> if it doesn't, it'll be all right. You can, it's in a lot of my other videos. Um, you'll, you can find it. Um, is it in there? Did I miss it? Um, no, it's not. Uh, Anyway, it's okay. Uh, yeah, so... Whoop whoop, y'all. Thank you so much for being part of the stream. Love all y'all. Um, come back again tomorrow, 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. Every Monday through Friday here on YouTube, I live stream as I create, and you are welcome to join me while I do it. Uh, wise words for the day today. Um, if you like doing it, Invest your time into it. If you don't, don't waste your time. That's that's all I got to say about that. If it's something you're passionate about, just stick it out. Keep working on it. Eventually, the world will catch up to you. Some of us get lucky. Some of us earn it. And I feel like I've gotten a little bit of both at this point. And I really appreciate everybody that's been participating in buying my stuff or joining my weirdness here on the Internet. It's awesome, and I appreciate all of it. So there you go. 
Have a great day, everybody. Love y'all. See you later. Bye.